Hi, I'm Jeremiah Prophet, and thanks again for tuning in to Prophet's Resurrection Land Cruisers TV, Episode 7. Uh, this week, uh, we tried to get the video out as quick as we could uh, since the last one came out a couple of weeks ago. I don't want to wait two or three months in between episodes anymore if we can help it. Uh, so in this episode, uh, my wife actually is going to be doing most of the talking, and she's going to review and uh, talk about a Stage 3 restoration that we just finished. But before we get to that part of the episode, I want to tell a little story about the team here and about something that happened recently that just is a phenomenal thing. So this customer offered us a challenge, which was to actually change the color of his project uh, just two days before it was supposed to go back to him. And uh, because it wouldn't really have affected any of the other builds we were doing, I went ahead and accepted the challenge. Here's what happened that was cool. Um, I came in at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I told the guys, hey, uh, that big green thing needs to be a big yellow thing. And then I just sort of backed off, and what happened was amazing. This team um, attacked that project uh, like, a, like, a, like a group of people who've been working together for 20 years. Um, everybody fell into the role that they were their highest and best use for and uh, it, was a, it was amazing to see all of the pieces come together. Uh, what they're putting together in the background right now was um, Military Green just yesterday morning. And so uh, this is actually gonna be shipped to its new owner uh, later on uh, today. But that's enough of that. I told you my wife was gonna do most of the talking, so let's go to her and have her tell you about a new Land Cruiser we just finished restoring. Hi, I just wanted to talk about this 1982 FJ40 restoration that we just finished here at Prophet's Resurrection Land Cruisers. The process all begins with a call to Jeremiah, an email to Jeremiah, sometimes a Facebook message or Instagram message, and where he and the customer kind of talk about how the build is going to happen, what they want, what kind of upgrades, what kind of modifications, just a lot of different stuff before we even see the vehicle. His customer bought this vehicle when he was a sophomore in high school, and because of this, he wanted to keep it like that, just how he remembered driving it when he was 16. It's for this reason that we chose the modifications very carefully. This one is unique because it came from a nearby town. The customer brought it here to the shop himself and dropped it off. And we were able to work with him in person to decide exactly what we wanted to do with this particular build. As with all of our Stage 3 body off restorations, this vehicle has been completely disassembled down to the bare frame. Every component and some component was repaired or rebuilt and cosmetically restored. One of the unique things about this build is the fact that we've painted the floor and did not use Vortex like we do on most of our other builds. So we gave this build an Old Man Emu 2.5 inch lift with Bilstein shocks. To improve on and off-road drivability, we also added power steering. Because this customer is local, we had the opportunity to catch his reaction on camera when he came in to see the Land Cruiser for the first time. Hey, Kelly! Jeremiah! Good to see you! Good to see you too! Good to see you! Good to see you! Absolutely! Man, I'm glad you can make the trip up! Absolutely! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I can't wait to see the Cruiser! Alright, well, let's just get after it! Let's okay, go. awesome! I can't wait! I got the uh, car, it was my first car I ever bought, I got it in 1985, and I was the second owner. I grew up in Boulder, we bought it from Boulder Toyota, and I remember, I mean, I was sophomore in high school, I remember my dad found some card in the glove box, and we had talked to the re original owner, and you know, got kind of the message from him. So yeah, I bought it, it was my first car, I mean, it was awesome, loved it, you know, around Boulder, uh, 
My parents grew up in Moab, so we've been going to Moab since I was two weeks old. Had it for 32 years. Yeah, I took it to college. During my medical training, I did training, some training in California, and certainly it's not necessarily the best uh, highway car. Yeah, it's life and you know, work and kids. I just haven't driven it as much or used it as much as I would have liked to. And so it kind of fell into a little bit of disrepair. I mean, you know, they get rust in the back. And a couple of years ago, uh, I kind of pulled it out of the barn and, and tried to get the car running again. We got it up and going and running great, but the brakes were out. So <laughs> it went well, it didn't stop very well. I just uh, came to the decision that I just really wasn't using the car, uh, using the as it deserved. Um, but that I also really kind of didn't want to get rid of it in the condition that it was and really wanted to you know, get it back to brand new, pristine uh, condition. I've had multiple people offer to buy the car from me, my family members, cousins, people on the street, and I've just never really been able to bring myself to sell it. So yeah, I brought the Toyota, Toyota in to get it rehabbed. and. I'd like to say it's in perfect condition, but I haven't seen it yet, but what I've heard, it's better than perfect. It's, it's better than, than, than new, so I can't wait to see it. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. That is phenomenal. Incredible. <laughs> wow. Raised up higher than when uh, <laughs> when I last saw it. This is nice. Two and a half inch lift. Yeah. Beautiful. Holy cow. I gotta look under the hood first before I get in. I don't need white gloves or anything to check it out. It's yours. If, you, if it wasn't <laughs> yours, you'd have to have the white gloves. Yeah, wow. Yeah, look at all that. Everything is just pristine. Beautiful. Wow. All right, I got. I got to get in. I think, huh? Yeah. Did you feel like feel like it did when you got in the first time? Do you remember? <laughs> I do remember. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't quite this uh, brand new. It was in good shape, but yeah, this is beautiful. Everything is pristine. It's better than perfect. It's, be it's better than new. Yeah, absolutely. This is one of my favorite restorations because of the color, for one. I came in to this relationship four years ago with Jeremiah, not even knowing what a Land Cruiser was. And to this day, I am a Land Cruiser believer. I, I love the camaraderie. I love everything about this whole community of Land Cruisers, the people, the vendors I get to talk to, the customers. It just, it's an amazing experience. And what we're doing here at Prophets Resurrection Land Cruisers is not just building new Land Cruisers. We're creating an entire community, a family of people who love Land Cruisers. And we love Toyotas, we love having fun, we love the outdoors. And this is just a medium for us to be able to experience that together. We're not selling just a brand new, amazing Toyota Land Cruiser. We're selling the experience that comes along with it. No matter where you go in the world, that Land Cruiser community is there, and I feel honored to be a part of it. So thanks for watching this episode of Prophets Resurrection Land Cruisers TV. And before we go, I want to make sure that I tell you guys, we are always looking for the best people to come work here. If you're the best and you want to work in the coolest Land Cruiser shop there is, give me a call. Speaking of getting a hold of me, if you guys could uh, please check out our Instagram feed at Pro Cruiser. We also are available at uh, Resurrection Land Cruisers on Facebook. And of course our website is www.resurrectionlandcruisers.com. Ask you some questions. I want you guys to answer honestly. Okay, Bob, come stand. Come here. Work on this thing. Come right here, like work on this thing. So this is for the blooper reel. This is between credits. So just answer honestly. So Bob, what did you think when I uh, when I told you we were going to paint this thing yellow? What was your reaction? No. Say, I thought you were crazy. No, I'm not. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> You thought, you thought, what was the, Bob, what was the exact word you used when I told you? I'm going to say that on camera. <laughs>
<laughs> the camera's not running. Can you say anything on camera that you normally say when the shops when the cameras no, are on? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Now, regular screwdriver and flat blade screwdriver. Let's let's have your opinions on this, do David. Do you need one to have? I say a regular head. screwdriver is a flat blade screwdriver. It's a flat head. But since nobody uses flat blade screwdrivers anymore, wouldn't a Phillips screwdriver be a regular screwdriver, and a flat well, blade be an abnormal screwdriver? What do you need? Right hand side. Regular screwdriver. Oh, I thought you said David had. It. No, no, David had a. David doesn't obviously doesn't know the name of the screwdrivers. Quite a bit. Hit it at the correct angle. I am. No, you hit it at the correct angle. Yeah, just like this. Oh, but look at that little <laughs> hammer. That bolt is lapping you. <laughs> <laughs> well, move your finger. Whatever. Well, you're good. <laughs>